All right, this is step three of how to get music or sound effects into our pivot animation. So now I've got my movie, I've got Movie Maker open, and I have my uh, animated movie, and I can play and watch it. But there's no sound, and sound is just something that makes it so much cooler. Music especially um, makes things really cool. So um, I've shown a couple ways of doing this. I have another video on, it's called Music Changes Everything, and you can check that out. Just the basics. I'm using Incompetech.com, uh, Kevin McLeod. He makes a ton of music that is free to use. You just need to give him credit. Um, and I'm just going to pull up the first one I see here, uh, Rainbows, okay? You click on any of the files here on his website, and you go over to download as MP3. If you're a, you know, want to do something way more high quality, you can purchase and download an uncompressed version, which is like a higher resolution audio file. But I'm going to just take an MP3. So any MP3 you have, theoretically, you can put in here. So I'm going to download Rainbows as MP3. It's going to ask me where I want to save it. I'm going to be smart and save it where I've been saving it. I'm going to save it in my work folder. You can save it anywhere you want, desktop, downloads, etc. It's called rainbows.mp3. It's an mp3 file. That's good. That means it's a music file or a sound file. Click Save. It's downloading, and you can see now that it's done downloading. And I can go here and say Show in Folder. Oops, you can't see that. Show in Folder. And there it is. Now I'm going to go to my Movie Maker file. And there's two ways you can do this. You can go to Add Music, or you can drag it in. I like dragging it in, so I'm going to drag into this white area and drop it. Now, you'll see that it put it right where my thing was, right where the, uh, I call this the playhead. I'm going to click on this green and drag it over and hit play. There we go. We have music and I don't know if the music particularly matches this animation. Uh, I could probably find better music, but there you go. There's how you add music uh, into your thing. Now, if you want to add a sound effect, I'm going to find a sound effect. Let's just find a, uh, a, a running, or let's find a walking sound effect. I'm at findsounds.com. This is a great website to just get some easy to use um, sound effects for your project. So let's search for walking. Walking on wet gravel, sure. I'll listen to that. No, nope, that's not what I want. I want an MP3, so I'm going to actually select, I'm going to turn off these other options and look for just MP3 or WAV. Those are uh, better for Windows. Um, uh, AIFF is uh, better for uh, Mac, but you can use MP3 or WAV with your Macs too, depending on software you're using. Anyway, no, no sounds for walking in this format. Oh, that's sad. All right, I guess they're all... Uh, AIFs. I wonder if... Well, let me try. Let's just try it. Okay, so I'm going to open it up. It's giving me the download option. I am going to put it in my period one pivot 2016 folder. Let's save it. Let's see if this will work. Let's just try it. I'm going to open up my folder. There it is, footfalls. Let's see if I can drag that uh, sound effect into here. Hey, look, it works. Cool. I'm going to delete the music for a minute and just let's have the walking sound effect and see how that works. All right, that's not bad. It's not perfect, but uh, you get the idea. You could find lots of things. I like going to the examples. Um, let's go to the examples in English, and there are lots of different things. Ambience, bang, boop, boing, cartoon noises, clanks, uh, people, applause. Let's see, footsteps. Let's try footsteps. Oh, there's footsteps.wave. I didn't get to hear it, but let's just all try it. I'll download it, footsteps, and I'll double click on it just to listen to it. Oh, maybe that footsteps would be better for my video. So I'll try the footsteps. Drag that in, and I'll delete the other one. And we'll just start it right there at the, at the beginning because I think my guy starts walking right away. Oh, my guy's walking a little faster, but whatever. And then I could come up with a sound that has like a, a thump or a bump, um, you can't usually find, like if you just type in jump, you're, you're probably not going to find the sound you want. Um, I try to keep it very simple when I'm describing my sounds um, so that I can find things. But I love these examples in English for me, because I speak English, um, and a little Spanish. Can you? So um, uh, let's see here. Uh, 
anyway, there, there's a ton of sounds. I look under mayhem here. A battle bomb, broken glass chains, explosion, um, punch. Sometimes you can use sounds, other sounds that, you know, like I could use a punch sound for him landing. Um, I'll just go to punch. Let's go to punch. Just for, just for, that could be the landing sound. So I'm going to go back. Okay. I'm going to go backwards. And I'm going to click, is this the download? No. How about I, I'm going to right click. This is another way to download it. Save link as. And I'm going to save it. And it's DSS Kepch. I'm going to change that name. I'm going to call it Punch. So I, I remember what it is. I saved it as Punch. Open up my folder. There it is. Yay, it's working. Open up this. Open up this. Drag Punch in there. And I really want Punch to happen right. I'm going to find the spot where he lands. Jump. Uh, uh, uh. And right about okay, I can use the L key to go one frame at a time. L and J on your or L and H. What is it? No, L, J. I think it's J. Yeah, J will go a few frames at a time. Oh wow, it's really. There we go. I want to get it right to where his feet hit the ground. Right there. That's where I want the sound to be. I'm gonna actually go here. Add music. Add music at the current point. I want it to jump right there. I want to put that punch sound right in that spot. So I'm going to go back to period one where I had this file saved and punch. Now let's watch it and see if I got it. Play. Again, the walking doesn't match, the, but it's okay. Boom. Was that perfect? Nah, it's not the perfect sound. I could spend a lot more time uh, looking for a better sound, but there you go. Now you know how to add a sound at a particular spot. I suggest adding your sounds from the beginning of your video to the end because if you if you put, like, let's say I go to the front and I stick another sound in, let's just, uh, I'll just drag one in here. You're going to see what happens. It's going to move everything. Let's just take, uh, I don't know, I'll take rainbows. Rainbows, dropping in the rainbows. Now it pushes everything else out, I think. Oh, it left the jump. That's cool. So um, it kind of goes up to the, the next point or whatever. So I suggest dragging the playhead to the specific spot where you want to sound. And this is really good because you can actually see the position that your pivot character is in. And that will help you uh, really get it in the right spot. And again, music is just an easy way to make your animation a lot more fun to watch. Because uh, sound is really important in video. Um, you don't have sound. I mean, there's not many... There's not many movies that have zero sound. Even movies that have quiet spots have sound. It's just the sound of an air conditioner or, you know, the hum of electricity or something. It's usually not total silence. So when you have total silence, it's not as cool as having some sound effects. There you go. There's some the long and short tutorial on how to add sound effects and where you can find some to your pivot.